Shalom to you brothers and sisters out there. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to our God, our power, the God of Israel, our Father, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, Mashiach Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, the Harakai, Kodash, double honor to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone, GMS, and Shalom to you, my fellow laborers out there on the highways and the byways, magnifying the name of the Lord through this ministry, preaching the gospel. And I'll push your videos out also and edifying the sheep. Shalom to you believers as well, you brothers and sisters that subscribe to the doctrine. May the Heavenly Father continue to bless you, have mercy upon you, and give you what you need for salvation. It's your brother Pariah come back at you with another lesson. Lord willing to be edifying the feeling and the spirit of the hopeful elect. And it's entitled, The Earth is in Need of New Management, Jewel 9 and uh, 24 in parentheses. And uh, let's get straight to the precept. This precept that the brothers bring out often. Um, real common precept in Israel. Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges that rub. If not, where and who is he? Yes, yeah, so if not, where and who is he? How do you identify the wicked, right? Whom the earth has been given to? You got to see who, uh, who covered the faces of the people that's in the Bible, who depict themselves as a, the image of the Bible, or the people in the, in the scriptures, the Heavenly Father, His Son, the Israelites, uh, uh, first, uh, not first and foremost, but etc. It's the so-called white man. The Chinese people didn't do it, okay? They didn't depict themselves and put movies up as uh, they, them being Moses and the Israelites being led through the, the Red Sea, you know, uh, etc., man. Uh, uh, the image of Christ, you know, who the world calls Christ, his name is Yehovah Shai. It wasn't the Arabs, it wasn't the Japanese, it wasn't, you know, um, what are the, the East Indians. It wasn't none of these nations, man. It wasn't Jaffa. It was a so-called white man, all right? Biblically known as Edom. Daniel 4 and 17, this matters by the decree of the watchers and the demand of the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruler in the kingdom of men and give it to whomsoever he will, and set it up over it the bases, the bases of men. All right, so the bases of men, the wicked, which the earth is being given to, is uh, the Edomites, okay? The descendants of Esau, Jacob's brother. The so-called white people, all right? They say he's chosen, all right? He's chosen people, his children, <laughs> his physical counterpart, okay? Esau, the so-called white man, is the devil the Bible speaks of, all right? They're the most... Vile, disgusting, and evil people in all the world. Okay, starting with those that have been uh, set up over the earth, which are the thirteen uh, families of the international or uh, international European banking dynasty, you know, all of which are, are pro-Jewish uh, Zionists. You know, with the uh, Zionists or the fake Jews, right? They are called biblically known as the synagogue of Satan. Okay, and as a result of these people, uh, the elites. As a result in the ruling the earth, the earth is out of course and defiled, man. Okay, that's Psalms 82 and 5. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. Isaiah 24 and 5. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Okay, the Edomites, you know, they can't understand how to rule in righteousness because they are the wicked. Right, the spirit that is lifted up in him is, is not upright. Okay, I think it's an Obadiah, but it's in that nature to be evil, man. And these devils don't enforce nor uphold the laws of the Lord that's contained in the Bible. That's why everything and everyone, especially the women, are out of course. Okay, and the out of course basically goes into out of order. Right, let's get the definition for that. And uh, that Psalms 82 and 6 uh, out of course or out of order means not in harmony or agreement okay these people in earth is not in harmony and agreement with what the fear of the lord all right and obedience to his law statutes and commandments because that's the whole duty of man and when you go astray well pursuant to ecclesiastes 12 13 so when you go astray for what the lord appointed for us to do here on earth that's when things uh get chaotic man and get uh, out of course because the lord set up a, a perfect way for the earth to be governed right and it's in his laws his way because his ways are higher than our ways and his high his uh, thoughts are higher than our thoughts he is righteous man right his ways are righteous just true 
you know. So this says, uh, uh, I'm going to read it again in that um, Psalms 82. In 5, they know not, neither will they understand, because none of the wicked shall understand, right, as it's written. They walk on in darkness, and it's going to tell you the way of wickedness is as darkness. In, in our Proverbs, it says, all the foundations of the earth are out of course, Okay. So the so-called white man uh, causes disharmony in the earth, all right, by keeping the father's laws away from the people, away from the masses of the people uh, through his cunning deceit. They set up uh, false religions, which is idolatry to blind the minds of the people from fearing the Most High. All right, they whitewash the true depictions of the people in the Bible, uh, people in the Bible, in order to portray themselves as the judges, the prophets, the wise men, the Israelites. And above all, the, the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Okay, uh, they're according to the scriptures, the uh, so-called black men, right? And that's blasphemy, blasphemy uh, against the Holy Spirit, which shall not be forgiven, right? That's why the Edomites, they have to be destroyed. The whole nation soon will be wiped out after a thousand years of hardcore slavery, pursuant to the scriptures, man, right? And they evil ass uh, set up a society where abominable foods are at the forefront of delicate uh, delicacies people eat. Right, tattoo shops, abortion clinics, etc. All right, all these different um, businesses they create a society that basically keeps the Lord's true chosen people, the, the, the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, under under uh, oppression and also under sin. Okay, they created their own mischievous laws, right? A lot of which they use to protect evil actions. Okay, that goes against the God of the Bible. All right, they have the Father, namely the. Uh, alphabet community okay aka the homo uh, sexuals right which is sodomy right uh, uh, they keep you know um, basically make the laws to protect uh, uh, adultery you know bestiality you know these are sins uh, worthy of death okay but the so-called white man don't care because the most high is not all of his thoughts all right uh, a sodomite supposed to be stoned he's supposed to be hung okay he's supposed to be uh, burnt all right, adultery is supposed to be killed. People that commit bestiality with have sex with animals, they're supposed to die, right? But but uh, Habakkuk one and four. This is why. This is the reason why. Therefore, the law, I mean the law of the Most High, is slacked, and judgment doth never go forth. And that that judgment is righteous punishment. It don't never go forth here. A lot of uh, some females get away with murder. They get away with a lot of uh, wicked things that are supposed to be punished. All right. Uh, judgment don't never go forth. I'm going to tell you why. For the wicked doth come past about the righteous. Therefore, wrong judgment proceeded. So, uh, that was how I put one and four. So wrong judgment from these wicked motherfuckers, man, caused the people to be out of order and through. All right. Like Sirach, uh 10 and uh, 2 says, you know, it says, uh, What manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all that they dwell therein? Right, if Esau is profane, because he's the uh, earth is given to his hands, he's the ruler. All right, he's been given the authority over the earth. All right, uh, if he's profane, so will the people be as a result. Right, you know, let's give different definition for that word defile in Isaiah 24 and 5. Uh, that word defile means to desecrate or profane something, and that something is the earth and everything in it. Right, so, so, so some um. Some synonyms for that word defile is violate, make impure, uh, contaminate, pollute, debase, degrade, dishonor. The word desecrate means to treat a place or thing, which is the earth, and the things are everything that's contained in the earth, the people, the animals, etc. It says uh, base creation with violent disrespect. All right, violate. And that's what Esau did to the earth, man. He polluted it, right, contaminated it. Right with his wicked ways. It's uh second edges uh fifteen and six. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth and the hurtful works are fulfilled. Okay. Wickedness comes from the wicked, okay? And the wicked is so called white man. White so called white man teaches uh the world his ways, all right? They made like scripture tell you, uh Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the uh uh of the earth drunken, all right. They drunk the wine, the doctrines and philosophies of the so-called white man. And that's how they mad, man. They retarded. They they uh insane. They out of their fucking mind, man.
because they divert from the law, statutes, commandments. They divert uh, from the ways of the Heavenly Father. Okay? And so, uh, payback is coming. You know, uh, the Lord is about to violently overthrow this man's kingdom, man. You know, starting with America, by uh, aka Babylon the Great, by sending various plagues and ultimately nuclear missiles or right? nuclear destruction. And also uh, sending down his son, all right, here to earth to wreak havoc and put all these uh, survivors uh, of the heathen in slavery, okay? So rock 10 and 4, the power, meaning the rulership of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. And in due time, he will set over it one that is profitable. The word profitable goes into beneficial. And the one that will be beneficial to the earth is his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. So rock 10 and 8, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries and riches got by deceit the kingdom is translated from one people to another second edge 6 and 9 for esau is the end of the world so he's the end of this age and jacob is the beginning of it that followed so the rulership of the world is getting is going to get taken from the so-called white people which is esau eating the so-called white man right and translated or given to the so-called negro latino and native americans which are the biblical israelites the chosen people uh, the chosen of israel Daniel 7 and 26, but the judgment shall sit, and they shall take away his dominion, all right, the Edomites' dominion, and consume and destroy it unto the end. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, which are the Israelites, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominion shall serve and obey him. And Yahweh shall be our king forever. Isaiah 9 and 6, for unto us a child is born, Unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, uh, Counselor, the Mighty Power, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. And of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end upon the throne of David, upon his kingdom, to order it. See, the Messiah, or Yahweh Shah, the only begotten son of the Most High Power of Israel, he going to bring righteous order to the earth. Right, he gonna make right what the so-called white man fucked up, right? It says to establish it with judgment and with justice, all right, in the law, statutes, commandments, from henceforth even forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Like the title says, you know, the earth is given, uh, well, the earth is need uh, is in need of new management, so like you, all right. So the earth is in need of new leadership, okay, a new director, new guidance, new governance. All right, a new supervision, a new ruler. Yahweh Shah, the son of the heavenly father, is the solution. All right, Shalom.